In this video, I'm going to take you through some of the vocabulary associated with 3D shapes. And one thing that you need to be able to do is name some common 3D shapes. And you also need to be able to um, give an indication of how many vertices, edges and faces a 3D shape has. So here are some common 3D shapes. A cube. Um, it's a bit like a, a dice shape. Um, all the sides are the same length, every face is the same size, um, and it is a sort of box shape. So let's have a look at how you work out the number of edges, faces, and vertices. Vertices is probably the easiest one to start with, um, and vertices are corners or the sort of pointy edges I shouldn't say edges because that's a different word the pointy um, corners of the shape so what I'm going to do is just use a pen just to put a dot on each of the corners and then I'm going to count the number of dots I've drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so we say there are 8 vertices Vertices is a word which means um, more than one vertex, so it's a plural. Each of these is called a vertex, and together there are eight vertices. Next up, let's have a look at how many edges there are. The edges are the, the lines which join the vertices. So you can see there, I've just drawn four. I will draw another four lines here. So that's eight. And then there are four more which go across like that. So each of those red lines represents an edge. And I drew four on this side, four on this side, and four to join them up. So that is 12 edges. And if we look at the faces, the faces are the, well if you think about your cube as a dice, your dice has got six um, faces because each face is one of the sort of surfaces. So if I sort of shade these, there's one there and one on the opposite side. And then it gets a bit tricky to start shading them again, but hopefully you can see you've got those blue ones that I've shaded, so that's one, two, top and bottom, that's three, four, and front and back, five, six. There are six faces on this cube. The next one is a cuboid, um, and a cuboid is different from a cube, so a cube has all sides, I should say edges, all edges are the same size. All the faces are exactly the same, they're all squares. On a cuboid, you've got different size faces. So the front face here might be different size to the top, might be different size to the side there. Let's go through and see how many vertices it's got. It's just like the cube. It's got eight vertices. And again, just like the cube, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 edges. And again, just like the cube, it's got six feet. Uh, six faces, yes. The sides like that. Um, and then if I do the top, perhaps in dots, and the bottom in dots. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and then the front and the back, which I'll put a little sort of crosses on. I think I can't really show that very well. Um, it's got six faces.
The next one you need to know is a triangular prism. And a triangular prism is a shape which has got a triangle um, as its sort of ends. And a prism is just a shape which, when you sort of, if you, if you imagine putting it down on a, a chopping board and slicing through it, every time you slice it, you get the same shape coming off. Imagine this was made of cheese and you were just slicing, slicing, slicing. You would get a triangle of cheese every single time. And all those triangles would be the same size and the same shape. So it's a prism. And with this triangular prism, we can apply our method to find the number of vertices. Just put a dot on each corner. There are six of them. Six vertices. Let's count up the number of edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there are nine edges. And if we try and look at the number of faces, again, this is quite tricky to do to mark on here, but I'll do, we'll do this back one here. So there's one. That base one, that's two. You've got the triangle at the front and the back. So that's three, four. And then you've got this sloping one coming down here. So that is five faces. Next up we have the square base pyramid. And this is just recognisable because it's got a square base. I suppose you could have a rectangular based pyramid as well. Um, normally they're square based. And um, this pyramid just get all the, all these lines got to a point above the base. So how many vertices does it have? One, two, three, four, five vertices. How many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight edges. And the number of faces, well, you've got the base here, and then you've got four triangles going up to this point here. So the front, the back, the left, and the right. So that's a base and four triangles, that's five faces. Oops, my marker pen's gone through a little bit there, never mind. Um, this one here is one that people often get a little bit confused by. It's quite difficult to draw and so it's quite difficult to sort of recognise what sort of shape they're going for here. But um, it's called a tetrahedron and it, it's also called a triangular base pyramid and I think I've seen exam boards except triangular based pyramid but tetrahedron is sort of a better word for it. Um, let's have a look at how many points it's got. Four, so four vertices. The number of edges is one, two, three, four, five, six. And the number of faces, you've got the base triangle there, and then you've got three triangles going up from the side. So one triangle, two triangles, and three triangles all going up to that point at the top there. So that's the base and three triangles going up to the top. That's four faces. You also need to know the names of cylinder, but you won't be asked about vertices and faces and edges of that, and like a football, you have to try and draw this, but it's quite difficult to draw it in 3D, um, a sphere. 